Hey, welcome back to the DonBest.com studios. I'm Pat Williams, Todd Furman, Monte Skates in the house. We're looking at the Oakland Raiders hosting the Pittsburgh Steelers. Guys, this is a midweek report, but really, I don't know how much more of the week we need to see uh, <laughs> this Oakland Raiders defense who just got gashed by the Miami Dolphins. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the Raiders uh, just in a shambles right now. They only score 13 and a half points a game here through the first two games. The run game is non-existent. They have a dynamic back. In McFadden, I do not understand why he's not getting off. He only had 11 carries in the Miami game. Just uh, you got to feed this guy more. I, I, I'm just totally confused as what's going on I, out there with. I Raiders. think Darren McFadden couldn't get in as many touches against Miami when you see how many times he handled the ball in that game against San Diego. Yeah. But the big thing for Oakland, though, uh, Monty's 100% right. This is a team who relies on McFadden. He is their primary playmaker. You have questionable receivers. And Carson Palmer, uh, I don't know what's happened to this guy, but he has not been the same quarterback ever since he tore up that knee. Well. Guys, we talked about it right here on the set before Oakland ever played a game. Carson Palmer's pick six. He's the black cat that walks under the ladder. He's not the guy I want leading my franchise. He put up stats. He'll put up numbers, yeah. but he don't win football games. That's the thing, Pat. He puts up numbers. Looking at his stats here, he's averaging 335 yards a game. He's got two TDs and one pick. But, uh, again, I think it goes back to what we were talking about with McFadden. There's no balance on the offense. So it's really hard to have any kind of consistency when you don't have a threat of the run. I think they've got to get McFadden going if we're going to see any success offensively for this Raider team. No, to play devil's advocate to what you guys have said, I will say one thing about the Raiders' offense. They were stuck in mud on Sunday. But you look at the way the defense performed a week ago. I'm not sure the defensive unit is the big problem here. We talk about that west to east travel, now going back to their own building. Uh, this may make for a little bit of an inflated number when Pittsburgh comes a calling. All right, Pittsburgh's five on the road, 43 and a half of Pittsburgh. Look, I don't think they played bad against the Broncos. That was a tough spot, Peyton Manning's first game. But they went in and punched the Jets in the mouth. And I think, how's that not happen again on Sunday? Yeah. I, Trap game? Uh, no, well, no, I think I'm with you, Pat. I don't see how they, they don't smack the Raiders as well. Uh, my questions from this Pittsburgh team, though, comes, again, we talked about balance with the Raiders. This team lacks balance on offense as well. Run game is basically not there for Pittsburgh. Leading rusher has 71 yards. That's Jonathan Dwyer through two games. So, I mean, you have to get a little bit more uh, on the ground here to provide some balance for Big Ben and the receivers. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how Pittsburgh handles prosperity traveling across the country to take on Oakland. Uh, like Monty alluded to, you talk about a team that still hasn't found a primary running back. They obviously miss the services of Rashard Mendenhall. And Big Ben, he is going to take hits against this Oakland defensive front. The question is, how many big plays can he connect with with Mike Wallace? But what I've seen from this Pittsburgh team is Ben Roethlisberger really makes up for the run game with all of their dink and dunk passing. Isn't that really how they run the ball now? Yeah, a little bit of the short passing out of the backfield, but still, Pat, you have to be able to line up and run the football at teams, especially a team as poor as the Raiders. You would think a little bit of ball control here would help your offense a little bit, but, you know, we talked about the Raiders, uh, you know, difficulties offensively and defensively. Maybe they don't need the run here. Now, this is a game that I think you, you look at the number where it is now, anticipate it to climb a little bit higher from its four and a half to five at this current time. You talk about dead numbers. We know the public will be on Pittsburgh. Home teams have been a great bet when you talk about a home underdog role through the first two weeks, eight and three against the number. You're going to have to look at Oakland. I'm just not sure I have the stomach myself for it. <laughs> All right, good luck on your selections this weekend in the National Football League. Once again, Oakland hosting Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh 543 and a half, 43 in the hook right now on the Don Best screen.